Usually at this time of year, the Miller home is full of Christmas decorations. This year, there is a reindeer, but not a lot else at the property, and that's because the family is tired of dealing with all the vandalism. Bill Miller shows us his slashed Santa. Right here. This is the big cut. Straight down. The 12 foot tall inflatable was literally a big attraction until it joined the list of Christmas casualties. Here are some pictures of how the display looked in other years. Miller says he does it for his eight grandkids and kids in the neighborhood. Every time I go out to somewhere to a flea market, if I see something different, I'll buy it and put it up. But a week out from Christmas, the inflatables lie in heaps. The lawn is mostly empty. The display will not return this year. Each night somebody was cutting up one of my inflatables every night. So now I decided, well, I'm just going to have to take them all out of the yard now and not putting any up. And the vandals seemed relentless. I had a big Santa arc sitting right here with a Santa Claus on it that they put nin needle holes all through it, pinholes. Miller says the real reason he's taken down the display is to protect one special item for his grandson who's in the hospital. My grandson was up in Minnesota with Spina Bithia and he's not doing the greatest. So, and I can't afford to have his power truck cut. He says he'd like to invest in cameras to see if they would help save the display. In Fort Dodge, Andrew Mullenbeck, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.